Yeah. Hello everyone. So today I decided to create a video about possible licenses crossovers of behavior can be used here in Dead by Daylight. The winning combination is writing the existing popular IP such as Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Especially Resident Evil 4 Remake is going to be released on March next year. There's actually a rumor that there's going to be Dead by Daylight too, but I believe it's already debunked by one of the devs. Personally, don't think that that's going to happen anytime soon because the existing Dead by Daylight is okay. Like it, it can still continue you throughout so many more years. I like with Sims 4. Sims 4 is actually problematic, but I like Sims 4. But I mean, the, the what do you call this? The engine that they used in Sims 4. I got an issue with that. So in Sims 5, they, they're, they're gonna use a real engine. But anyway, instead of. Hello, Michael Myers. <laughs> Alright, so I think. Um, What am I saying? It's in behavior's best interest if they'll just continue the, this Dead by Daylight. Like, it's similar to what Tom Howard did with Skyrim. <laughs> it already has... DVD is already in different platforms including mobile. So uh, they can just continue... They can just continue adding more, more DLCs and stuff. My other criteria for a successful license would be an interesting popular characters or cosmetics. They have the same theme and have a nitration with other existing characters in that they like, not just with the characters in that IP. Then the third factor would be being able to attract new user base. Yeah, here. Alright, so my top 10 would be, of course, uh, as what I've mentioned earlier, Resident Evil. Okay, let me heal you. They can also add Lady Miss Dimitres who sometime here in Dead by Daylight. They can add RE4 cosmetics first so they don't have to worry about rigging new models and all of that. So aside from Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Alright. Number nine possible license that behavior can have is a quiet place. I really love that um, horror movie. I think it's a very interesting I think it's a very interesting crossover to have here in Dead by Daylight. Killer has this extra sensitive healing, uh, hearing rather. And every time that Killer is being used, survivors have to survive. Okay, let me give you. I will use the knife here. Okay. Survivors have to pick up something to be able to. Oh god. Survivors have to pick up something to uh, quietly repair the generators. That, that's an interesting additional challenge for the game. Oh god. <laughs> Although the problem with using movie IPs compared to say... Mm, this is bad, this is really bad. Compared to another video game IP is that it has a different user base. Not all movie buffs are into gaming. Might be a hit or miss. Oh god. Alright, so my number 8 license is amnesia it's kind of similar with a quiet place the map there is going to be pretty interesting because it's going to be in a very large mansion for the cosmetics survivors can have this cult like groups or torian themed outfit that's oh, pretty nice so oh he's coming oh my god he saw me he saw me so my my um, seventh. Oh boy. So my seventh license be well, Walking Dead. Although that's gonna be a really expensive one. Also very risky. Like what happened to Stranger Things. Thought that it, we're gonna go there. If ever that's possible, maybe I should go up here. It's just pretty interesting to explore the lore of some of the characters in Walking Dead, like um, Glenn, <laughs> Sean, Megan. The, the bad guy, oh god, oh, we're all dead. An alternative for Walking Dead would be probably another Left 4 Dead license. Ooh, he's gonna close the hatch. Oh. He's gonna... Oh! Thank you! Wow, yay! <laughs> Very nice, thank you, Daddy Myers. All right, my sixth license DVD can help be 
Jujutsu Kaisen, especially season 2, is gonna be out next year. Although not much interesting outfit, and they kind of like the same-ish uniform to this gen. Nightbird Dated is already popular among Japanese players, so an alternative for that is popular webtoons, manhwas, or K-dramas to attract Korean players and other, other players who are into K-pop or K-drama. Although usually those people aren't. It's 50-50 because either they're into a different kind of game or not into video games at all. They, they have different hobbies. My fifth license. Oh! Oh! What am I doing? Oh god, that's so close. Oh man. I'm gonna be... No! No! My fifth license would be Conjuring! They can have the nun, the um, Annabelle doll. There's gonna be new survivors, the Warren couple. And we can have more noir themed outfits. The fourth one would be Fatal Frame. It's a classic. I know this is so very distracting. It identity 5. There's like one particular survivor who can push the killer away, something like that. So that that's gonna be an interesting one. Survivor uses a a camera, picks up a camera and aim it to the fatal frame ghost. It's gonna have like pretty interesting outfits as well, school uniforms. The third license would be um hmm Sherlock Holmes. Trademark or copyright, whatever. I mean that that thing is already expired dvd doesn't have to spend any more for the license they can create their own sherlock holmes characters or models we can have more thirst trap killers in the game by adding more yarty the second the license slash crossover would be hannibal actually it's just an excuse for me to see mads mikkelsen so i think that's pretty exciting and hannibal's special ability would be able to teleport behind doors or behind pallets. He's kind of like Michael Myers, but we can see his face. He has teleportation abilities. <laughs> Although he doesn't really have that, but it kind of feels like he has because of how sneaky he is. And my number one license would be, not all would agree with this, but it's just for me. It's just my top 10, you know? <laughs> so my number one would be Cyberpunk 2077. We already have glowing the dark outfits. Let's just make it more cyberpunk, more G Un Ha themed. But there's a bunch of characters that we can explore. Okay, this is a spoiler, but I, I really hate how they handled these characters in the game and also even, even in the anime show. You can skip this part if you haven't played Cyberpunk 2077 yet or haven't watched the Edge Runner. We can explore Evelyn's character, Jack's character. They can be the new survivors here. For the anime version, we can have Rebecca, pretty cool, especially her outfit. We can use um, the same theme, Cyberpunk 2077 theme, uh, with the other characters here. Like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> use Rebecca as the, um, one of the survivors. And of course, the popular one, David. And also, since it's a video game, it's not gonna be, you know, that hard of a conversion compared to if it's like a movie. You can have, I don't know, some corporate food in Arasaka or Adam Smasher. That's something new. I don't know if it fits the theme here in Dead by Daylight. We don't have a city theme map yet. All we have is mostly forest type abandoned buildings. You can have something like a city or a supermarket. Because of this ghost space trailer, I actually one of those people who want to have a supermarket map. They can also add that or ha have that, use that in if, if they're gonna do a crossover or use uh, Walking Dead license or something like, I don't know, corporate office map. You're gonna hide in different cubicles. That, that's horror for me. Can, oh! can make you insane because a killer can hack your psyche. Similar to the Chucky in Left 4 Dead. Why am I suggesting quirks to killers? I'm a, I'm a survivor, man. For the survivors, I really have no idea. My mind is blank. Um, what's going on? Bad time for killers, eh? Second time in a row. Alright. I guess I'll, it's a sign that I also edit here. Thank you guys for tuning in and see you in the next video. Bye!